adorable, awesome, full um, toolbox to share with you today. Um, this has been around for a while, but I wanted to go ahead and share it again because you can never have enough tools in my opinion. So it comes in this adorable little box. I love it. And you can see already there's some labels on top. So you open it up. And the first thing you see are labels. You see there, they are die cut square. So they aren't round, but they are square. And you have 50 labels and then we have a nice supply you see there how many zip top bags there are and these are the nice ones these aren't the flimsy ones that usually come in the kits these are really nice ones so you can see they're really sturdy I'm pulling it really good there it didn't tear most of the time it'll tear I don't know how many is in here. I want to guess like 50. There's a good amount of bags there. Then, oh, this tells you, even, tell, even if you're brand new to diamond pinning. Now, if you have someone on your list who is wanting to get into diamond painting, or maybe they've only done a couple, they don't have a lot, this would be an awesome gift for someone who's starting out because there's really a lot of things on here that you don't think about um, until you've been doing it for a while. So if you have someone on your list that would, or for yourself, you can always give yourself a gift. Anyway, this is an awesome box. I love this little box. I'm, I'm a sucker for containers and the cuter they are, the more I love them. <laughs> so you get a nice thick stack of the pink wax. They are individual little cubes there, little squares like they normally come in the diamond painting kits. There are four, I think it is. Yeah, there's four layers of wax here. So you will have more than you need forever. You get the nice metal tweezers. And these are the ones they aren't quite as pointy, but they are pointy enough where they actually work. You have these adorable little spoons, which are super convenient. Let's see if I can do this without spilling them in my lap. You do get green trays. So let's close this and let's demonstrate these little spoons because I love these little spoons. Instead of like pouring them out, you can just take a nice little scoopy scoop Put them on your tray. I put too many in the tray for this, but they are awesome. So you get four of the green boats, people like to call them. So let's dump these back in before I spill. Okay. So you got your four green trays. You have two spoons. You get three of these little flip top containers. The lid is attached. So these would be really cool for your leftover um, like specialty drills, like the big flat back pearls or something. These are great for leftovers. These are really cool little, and they snap on pretty, they're pretty tight. So they're not gonna come flying open. See, <laughs> there you go. So three of those. And then you get two of these. Honestly, I hate these tweezers. They really are just too flimsy to really do much with. But if you need to pick something up, they work great. It's just, if you need to take a drill off your canvas, you need to use the metal ones. But these work if you just need to pick something up. See? Okay. Then we have 
four of these awesome clips. And these are if you want to roll your canvas up. You clip this on the side like a bobby pin and it will hold your canvas without pinching it. So these are awesome. I wonder if they would work. Let's see if they work with the light pad. If they hold your canvas. I slide my light pad over here. So let's see. Whoop. Oh yeah, that's perfect. So you can even use them to hold your canvas onto your, if you have one of the really thin light pads. So they work for that too, and it doesn't stretch them out too much. Is that better with that off? Yeah, we'll leave that off for now. Okay, so there are four of those. I never thought to use them like that. I just always use them for rolling my big canvases. I have loose drills all over the place. There's another one back there. Sheesh, I'm so messy. Oh, I lied. I thought there were more spoons than that. So you get four, It's there's pretty much four of everything or four of some things. So four spoons, not just two. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Next, what do I want to show you? Oh, you get a little thing of glue. So this is the glue for the canvas. If you have a spot that is no longer sticky or if it came messed up and it's not sticky, you just put this glue on there, smooth it out nice and thin and let it dry. And then you'll be able to put your drills there in place and it will stay. There are two of those. I think that's it for that. Next, I know I keep, I'm like digging around the pins. I'm doing that on purpose just to drive you crazy. Is it working? So you get three of the little baby white trays with the nice spout on it. White is so hard to show up on camera. So there you have those. So they are just a tad bigger. than the green boats. So these are what come in your kit with all of your paintings that you buy. And then this is the white one. So you can see the difference in size. Plus you have the nice long spout, which I definitely prefer. I don't even use the green ones anymore. I've gotten so spoiled by the white trays. I don't even use the green ones. All right, these next pens are so since I am an owl fanatic anyway, these are even more cute, but the coolness that they are owls is outshined, literally. Mm. Look at that, it lights up. It's so cool. See that, look at that. So if your lighting is bad, where are you diamond paint? Look at that. You can see like the whole, like, like an inch around it. Look at that. Look at that. It's so cool. I love it. So this has a four placer or is that a three placer? No, that's a three placer. This has a three placer tip. That is what the little pin looks like. It is really small, but it's surprisingly comfortable to use because it is a little bit wider. So it is pretty comfortable to use. And then you get, I believe it is a single, no, ooh, this is different than the other one I got. This has a six placer on it. Come on, fingers. Work for me here, here. <coughs> excuse me. So this has the six placer. Nice, nice. And this is, I really wish it would show better on camera, but this one, you I mean, you can actually see through 
the tips. So it really gives you so much more lighting. And if you have bad eyesight to begin with, I mean, this is so helpful. I really love these. And I need to use them more. I forget about them. Because they they don't fit in my regular pen holder. So I forget I have them. And I'm like struggling and like turning on all the lights and moving this light all around to trying to get the light just right. But anyway, I digress. That's my memory for you. All right, so you get a handful of the pink pens. And as you can see, they all have the standard tip, except for this one. This is a little spatula tool. You can smooth, or not smooth, but kind of push a nice row of drills over if you need to straighten them up. You can run it in between rows to help straighten them up. You just put it in. It, it doesn't work as good on the square because the square are so tight, but for the squares, you can use it on the edge to straighten up your lines. It's fabulous. I love this, this little doohickey. He's super cool. I actually have it. This is the drill pin I use the most, and as you can see, it is the second side I use my four placer and my little straightener thingy the most so it comes in very handy okay and then you get three pins that have the three placer tip on them which was my first favorite tip until I got the four placer I even I'm so lazy because I don't want to I used to diamond paint See, I'm getting off on a tangent. I used to diamond paint like this. And I would flip my pins. Well, now I can't do it. I would flip my pins back and forth, but I would always have two of them in my hand. This is how I would do it. I would flip if I needed to go back to the single, back and forth. And I realized how time consuming that was and how much more work I was giving myself. And I thought, I can put one or two down with this. It doesn't have to just be four all the time. Yeah, I'm a little slow sometimes like that. Okay, moving on, back to the box. You get three six placers, which means you can pick up six drills at one time. And then you get three, these nine, I think these are nine placers. So you can pick up nine drills at once. And I actually do have another pen that has the six and the nine. So if I do get adventurous, you do that. Now, I do not recommend using the nine placer on squares because you tend to get a little wonky unless you have a really steady hand then but for me, the most I can put down at one time when I'm doing squares, a big area of squares, like this section up here. Oh, you can't see it, that's worse. Okay, so see this section right here? This is all black. All this is all black. And I found, and when I was doing the bullet painting that I did before, my sister's dog, that I was getting really crooked sections and I'm like, what am I doing wrong? And I realized it was this. I was going too fast, I think, maybe. But, um, and another thing that I've learned when using the multi-placers, if you have a large section, bigger than one or two rows, um, you need to alternate, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. Um, you need to alternate rows in order to help you keep everything straight. I hope that makes sense. But I am gonna show you what I'm talking about in a minute. Let me put this back before I end up losing it. Because I can't tell you how many times I've misplaced this key already. I'm like, where is my paper? There's more in this box. Oh, look, we got an extra one. Huh. Look at that. We got five. Bonus. There is this adorable, adorable little numbered tray, which is perfect for those small partials 
or the little night lights or the bookmarks. These are perfect. So, and they are already numbered. You can see there, they already have the numbers on them and they just lift up. You do have to be careful, make sure your other containers are closed before you dump it. But this is awesome. This is what I, that's what I use my other one for is um, I was doing a night light and I wanted to take it with me. So I put all of my drills in here and then that way I didn't have to worry about cutting open the bags and all that kind of stuff. So it's great for travel if you're going somewhere with a small project. And then the bottom of the box are my absolute favorite tool in the universe for diamond painting. These freaking things are a game changer. Seriously, it's sitting here. This is the tray that I use all the time. If I'm getting really rambunctious on smaller paintings, I won't attempt it on a big one because I get too, there's too much confetti and I get too, I don't even know what the word is, but on big paintings, I do one color at a time, one tray at a time, that's it. But on like 30 by 40s, um, the color sections seem to not be as confettied. And um, I, what I mean by that is having like five or six, like his bandana right here, you can kind of see there are, I think there was four different colors right here. And I tend, and with the bigger paintings, I work in four by six sections anyway. So I don't use more than one color out at a time. I've, I've made a mistake more than once, so I quit doing that. But with my 30 by 40s, I will put three or four colors out. I just spit. Sorry. I will put three or four colors out. I love these trays. They look huge, but I got to tell you, man, they are perfect. All right. Let me clear off my space, and then I'm going to give you some pointers, some stuff that I was talking about and show. So this is going to be a nice video if you are brand new. So hopefully I won't lose you if you've been here for forever. Maybe you'll learn something new. I don't know. And maybe I won't even think of everything I want. I won't remember everything I want to tell you. So I hope I don't lose you. So let me just get all this stuff put away. See, it all goes back in there nice and perfect. Okay. Now I have the placers here, the multi placers here. Um, put this here. I have my giant tray. So the first thing I want to show you is how nice these trays are. So I have my bag, brand new bag of 310, full bag. So I am going to cut it open and I'm just going to dump the whole thing in the tray. Put my scissors away before I stab myself. All right. So you can see big glob of drills. This is how I do my trays. Glob of drills. I put it on the edge of my table and I just go up and down. Loose one. And then I turn my tray around and I do that again. I have found that if I use the edge of my table, I am less likely to spill. Also, I need to use my left hand for some reason, which I really don't understand. I'm right-handed, but I do better straightening out my tray with my left hand. But look at that. Look how beautiful. There's only a couple of drills that are in out of place. And if I had used my left hand for the whole process, there wouldn't be any. So then, oh, that's glitter. I thought I had spilled a drill. All right, let me, the other thing with this giant thing, I have to be so careful. Move the mouse here. Because it is so big and I end up, I knocked a whole tray of 310 in the floor with when I worked on bullet. Oh. I was literally in tears. It was awful. But thankfully, I was able to pick most of them because I have carpet. But you would not believe how many of them just like went way down into the piling of the carpet. It was awful. Okay, so I have this big section here 
that is all black. And if you've never used the multiplacer, I want to show you. Okay, so here we have the biggest one. You just, and this is why this big tray comes in handy because you can get a nice long line. See, it picked up all of them. See that? So now you can come up here. Actually, I need to turn this on. I'll turn it on low. It's not gonna help you much. You come up here and I start with the bottom and then I go up, kind of like walking it kind of. And there you have, and you can't see that. Ay, ay, ay. I should have got out a smaller painting. This bigger painting makes it more difficult. Come here, Sable. So there you can see that line that I put down right here. Nice, pretty, straight line. But I can't, I think I just need to go slower with the, um, thing is so sensitive. I need to go slower when I'm placing it maybe. I think that's what I was doing, but I got so paranoid that I was like, oh, I'm only using the four placer. Plus these sections aren't as big as they were with the bullet painting. All right, so here is the six. So again, you just press down and I just knocked a drill out of place. Okay, let's try this again. I totally failed on that one. All right, so you can see what I'm doing. You just go straight down, straight up. You have your six drills all in a nice, perfect row. And then, let's see, we'll do this one down here. See if I can do it without the light. Ah, la. So there is, you can see that. I wish I could zoom in. I can't zoom in on this camera. So you can see there is the six. And then now I will do the four. So again, you just go to one of your nice, beautiful lines, straight down, straight up. There are your four drills. And again, if it's easier for you, you can start from the top and go down. So you know that one was crooked. So I put that down a little bit crooked. So I'm just going to come in, I need to come this direction. Let's use my left hand here. So I'm just pushing against the drills and it just moves them a tiny bit. You can push up to close a little gap that you might have. Okay. So there you have it. Nine at the top. And then down at lower was the six and the four. And you can see the four is crooked. So I need to work a little bit more on that. Oh, Sable, get back up there. Oh, they're so heavy. And they get almost done. It's crazy. You want to see her? I don't think I've shown her in the group. I've got her a little bit warped from hanging off the... There she is. Isn't she cute? She is the cutest little dog. She was so sweet. I got to meet her one of the times I was up in Kentucky. She was sweet. Little dachshund. I've got a couple of popping drills. Okay, so let me get this fixed here. And I'm trying to remember. I had a whole list of things in my head that I wanted to talk about. And, of course, my scrambled brain has forgotten them. Where's my mouse? That was rude. Did you see that? I don't know if you saw that or not. My white rabbit fell off the shelf. We've had this conversation, Mr. Rabbit. You were going to tear yourself up, and I'm not happy with that. This is my white rabbit. He is paper. 
It's all paper. Glittery paper. And embossed paper. This is all paper. Isn't he awesome? When, for Girl Scouts, we were supposed to have an Alice in Wonderland day camp. And COVID. So I had already, I had started working on this We because we start planning more than a year in advance um, to get all the decorations and the supplies and everything. So I had already started making decorations. And when I, um, when we had to cancel it, I was really upset. And I was like, well, there's no way I'm throwing this away. This thing took me a really long time because I had to like come up with that. There's a company that makes the files, but I had to like create his jacket. I had to resize like three different files to get to work together to make him. Um, yeah. So there's no way he's going in the garbage, but I had my dad put corner shelves up, which you can't see because the cabinet is in the way, but there are little corner shelves back there. And since he is so wide, he barely sits on the corner on the shelf. So over time, the weight lifts up and it tilts the shelf just enough where he slides off. So he does that periodically and scares the living you know what out of me. Yeah. He did it in the middle of the night one night and I was like, holy crap, what is that? I'm looking the first time it happened, I'm looking everywhere. I'm like, what was that noise? Because I got a, I thought the cat's head like knocked something down or something. So I'm like looking every looking everywhere. I'm like, where what is that noise? What is that? <laughs> Uh, anyway, moving on. See, there's another one of those tangents. So this is how I keep my wax. Um, there is blue wax and pink wax. There's all different colors. So I have, as you can see, a nice blob of the blue, which I just keep pushing back together. Um, and I use that. It's a lot thicker than it should be because I've like pushed. I've been using this for a long time. So to put more wax on my pen, I just stab it in there, kind of twist it back and forth, and then I have wax. And you can see there is a hole, a divot in the wax. So same thing with my multi-placers. I, I put a nice fresh piece of pink in there because I like it to be smooth. It's the OCD thing. So all you have to do is take your multi-placer and just push it down and I go back and forth like this and whoops it actually I didn't need wax on it so it left it kept my wax that was already on there give me my wax but anyway it will <laughs> see that's my pen telling me I don't need to put new wax on but the same thing, you just put it in, let me, no, that's got a brand new blob in it too. So you just put it, push it down and just kind of go back and forth to kind of cut the wax a little bit. And then when you pull it up, you have all of a nice smooth piece of wax filling the cavity. I mean, I, I figured that's self-explanatory, but I thought I would be nice. Now look, I messed up my pretty pink rectangle. Stupid pin. Didn't want more wax on you. But this is just one of those screw top bead containers that were, it's like the bead tower. I have my spare uh, squares in these kind of containers. So this was one that didn't have anything in it at the time. And I was like, how am I going to keep this wax off my table and from getting covered in cat hair? And I was like, oh yeah. So that keeps it clean for you, keeps it not really airtight, but it just kind of, it keeps dust and dirt and debris and whatever is floating around, which I, ooh, scares me to think of. All right. So that is all I have for you today. I'm sure there was something else I want to talk about, but my brain is like completely fried. It's Tuesday. I had to get up really early, well, early for me. I'm not a morning person at all. So to have to get up and get dressed and get ready and get out of the house, yeah. it always wears me out. Plus with the fibro, you know, it's just... Anyway, I'm going to go. I will see you again real soon for another... I have a fabulous... Um,
two paintings to show you next. So I'll see you soon. Bye.